Hey y'all, AK's back. How are you doing? This is Huzhou, and uh, around here is Xiao Xijie Historic Neighborhood. Um, I've walked around the neighborhood already, and my general impression of this place is that um, it's definitely quiet, but um, I would say a little bit too much of it has been commercialized, or at least are being attempted. To be rented out to uh, like small restaurants or cafes and whatnot. Though the good thing is that a lot of these houses um, are still resided by the local population. Like you see a couple of uh, you know like old couples or families just cooking and living their lives without. Renting out any of their properties or having their properties rented out, but you also see these like clothing stores or um, uh, some of them have been turned into museums. Of course, if they have at some point housed an important figure, and um, some of them are like um, it's absolutely gorgeous to look at. But um, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna check it out. Even though there's not a whole lot of um, creativity when it comes to using lanterns as a decoration, but putting lanterns in such a narrow alleyway, however, is something that I have not encountered too often in China, and um, I think this is pretty neat. It's like looking at the stars, or yeah, it's pretty dreamful. And uh, looks like not everything is rented out. Some of them definitely are, however. Yeah, like there's not a whole lot of commercial stuff going on in this alley, and all they did was just decorate it with lanterns and lights. So that's pretty neat. Of course, at this area we are, as expected, gonna hit a small river with a stone bridge. Absolutely gorgeous to look at. So it does look quite similar to the arrangement made in Wuxi, uh, with the tall buildings in the back and the short historic buildings up in the front in the small neighborhood. I'll check it out a little more just by walking around. Ah, that's a Starbucks. So that in uh, Wuxi was the temple to the god of wealth. Let's continue checking out this alleyway and uh, historic neighborhood. Yeah, definitely a lot of it has been commercialized and... Mm, though it's not to the same extent as that of uh, Wuxi. I need to come back and do a basically a double take so I can do some photography as well. Yeah, some of it, some of these houses are just absolutely gorgeous. All right, looks pretty important though. There's nothing explaining what this building does or who was there, did what. Still. Uh, And obviously it's not nearly as crowded as those um, um, historic neighborhoods like those in Suzhou or Xi'an. Plus those buildings are... Uh, how do I put this? Like most of them are just reconstructions. But here there are at least some that have just simply been repaired instead of uh, completely demolished and rebuilt. Now, uh, actually, in Suzhou, a lot of them have uh, retained the original structures as well, but I'm, I'm mostly talking about Xi'an, though. Yeah, pretty much everything's been demolished. All right, this should be <coughs> the exit of the historic neighborhood, so we have some uh, downtown areas that most people do live in, I would assume. I guess that's how these neighborhoods are generally uh, arranged. Uh, looks like a gym, actually. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, this looks more or less like a normal street now. Just full of restaurants. Yeah, mostly barbecue and hot pot. Oh man, how creative. Um, let's continue walking around. This is mostly a trip for me to find a place to settle. And uh, so far, I think Hujo has a very good shot. Uh, for a variety of reasons. One of it is that it does have a historic neighborhood that's not completely turned into a tourist attraction. Uh, yeah, this is one of it. There's another historic neighborhood like this one. Uh, somewhere somewhere around here I just got to the city so I have no idea where I'm going and um, this one just happens to be close by that I just need to cross the street from my hotel to get here and um, I saw it on my way uh, on the taxi anyway so that's why I'm here but um, yeah also it does look like Jiaxing yeah there, there's one like this in Jiaxing but that one is really crowded like as crowded as the ones in Suzhou or Yangzhou and uh, those streets are as um, you would imagine they're very wide as well um, let's keep walking down the main street and uh, get to one of the smaller alleyways to basically wrap up this video yeah my my hotel is basically down there Now, if uh, if I have ever taken a video of Yongxingfang, uh, you will know that that place is crowded 24/7. So it's either completely closed or completely jam-packed. There is no in between. Plus, that's not really a historic neighborhood anyway. Um, like all the old houses there were just completely demolished uh, the entire place was raised to the ground to make way for uh, newly built historic looking booths and buildings so that's that's one of my uh, sources of hatred for the city of Xi'an like they destroy completely good historic neighborhoods just so that they can build something over it and rent it out. Okay. Wouldn't want to disturb people from working now, but uh, this is more of a back alley. Yeah, people definitely live here. That's uh, that's an old apartment building. And uh, I think that... Yeah, no, that's just a power box. What am I talking about? Oh, that was a tomb or something. Yeah, this looks like one of uh, the old houses from like the 20s or 30s. Uh, I mean, apartments from the 20s or 30s, maybe the 50s. I've seen some of these uh, built in the 50s. Uh, basically at the end of this alleyway I'm just gonna wrap everything up and start doing some photography and then get dinner and uh, go back to sleep I'm still sick and pretty exhausted from the trip to get to Hujo I had to take a transfer yeah, I had to transfer from Nanjing, so I had to get up early and wait for a second train and all that. Kind of annoying, because uh, this city is t small, I wouldn't say tiny, but definitely too small for it to have a lot of traffic. However, it does have one, uh, one point of... Um, 
Redemption is that it does have direct trains to Xi'an. So I would say this is it. Some tea houses, cafes, and uh, music studios and whatnot. And of course, tiny passages like this one. That's all for now. AK signing out. Okay, so this is the more popular traditional neighborhood, Yishangjie. <clears throat> and uh, this one is mostly food. Fairly typical again, but still. Uh, it's pretty much all couples or friends, some young people, mostly young people. And uh, it would seem that at least a good number of them are locals. Yeah, this would look a lot more like a generic uh, historic neighborhood like those in basically every uh, historical town or in uh, Shantangjie or so on and so forth. I don't have to list all of them, they all look like this. Oh, I like the light show here. Take a couple of photos after I'm back. Yep. Very typical. Can't find anything that's out of the ordinary. <clears throat> yeah, and even these dark back alleys are exactly the same <coughs> as the other historic towns. Though I am starting to get quite hungry now. Yes, since that I'm at this food district, damn, I'm actually getting quite hungry. Was planning on getting dinner after I'm done filming. Or at least when I'm out of the tourist attraction area. So I don't get ripped off, you know, tourist traps and all that. Oh, I smell my hometown cuisine right here. Right around this area somewhere. Can't miss it. I can't mistake that for anything. Alright, but it looks like it's just a cafe. 20 per hour. That's substantially higher than most other cities. Um, though not as high as, of course, the top tier cities. And, uh, oh, more light shows. I love these lantern and uh, lantern derivative alleyways. Oh, this one is just called Little Alley. Whoa. I gotta check that out after. Alright, the rest looks pretty much just generic, so yeah, time to check out the Little Alley. <laughs> Let's see what this has to offer. Okay, an antique shopping center and a public washroom. Great. It looks like a labor union and a uh, charity foundation thing, organization headquarters. I think she's selling herself back there. Is this another river? It is another river. Is it the same river? I don't think so, no. Or it could be, I don't know. I just got here. Yeah, no, it's definitely not the same river. Yeah. 
Alright, since I'm already here, I'm gonna take a look of the river. Hopefully I don't fall in and drown and everything is blocked off by these willow trees anyway, so well, that's that. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess this is more of a shopping mall area with uh, some of the commonly seen, uh, like, okay, I have not seen this dessert store, but it's probably quite well known around here. And of course, with all the children's toys and all that, Burger King. Not a whole lot of people. Or something that's so big and open. Yeah, it's definitely not a whole lot of people.